Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to turn on the ultra low power mode on your iOS 26.2 device. Now, of course, this will work on older iOS versions as well. It will help you just save a ton of battery whenever your device is on low battery or even at any other percentage that you want, you will have different ways to actually set this up on your device. So you can choose to turn it on manually, turn it on when the low power mode of iOS is turned on, or maybe just turn it on automatically at any percentage of battery that you want. Either way, it will help you a ton. It will save a ton of battery on your device. This will be again very helpful when your device is on low battery and you cannot charge your battery. It will increase the battery life of your device for quite a few minutes. Now, before we get into all that, and I will show you guys how to do this, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. It will really help the channel a lot. Now, here's how you can do this. It is actually a very easy and all you have to do is head on to the shortcuts app on iOS 26.2 or any older iOS version that you have that has, of course, the shortcuts app. Now you will have a few different ways to start with. You can choose how you want to invoke the ultra low power mode on your device. If you want to actually do this manually, you can just go ahead and create a shortcut. Go here, tap the plus button and start from here. Of course, once I start showing you guys how to create it, you go here and start from the shortcut. If you want it to be automatically enabled when you enable the low, the low power mode on your device, and this way you will enable the low power mode of iOS, but also add all these extra things that will make it into ultra low power mode, then you can go here to create a new automation right here, tap on new automation, and then go to low power mode and make sure this one is selected and then tap on run immediately and then tap the next button right here and start creating. Now, if you don't want to do that, if you want to want to have it be basically turned on automatically at the, some percentage of battery that you want, then you can again go here, new automation, and then go right here to battery level and choose the battery level that you want. In this case, if I just go ahead and choose 15 at 15%, this mode will turn on automatically. So from here, we can tap the next button and start creating this. It is actually super useful and it is actually very effective as well. Now, the first thing you want to do here is tap on create new shortcut and search for set brightness. So that we have set brightness. It is at 50% by default, but of course you can tap right here and choose the brightness that you want. You can go ahead and set it to 20. That's probably the best way you can set it. Next, go right here to search actions. Don't go to back, back or tab uh, the button right there. Just go ahead and search here for other actions that you will have. So now search for focus mode. So that we have set focus, go ahead and it says right here, do not disturb, just tap right there to turn it on. And then you will need another one, search for appearance. So that we have set appearance, make sure you have this selected to dark right here. Now search for Wi-Fi. Then we have set Wi-Fi, make sure you have it set on. This way, of course, your iPhone will connect to a Wi-Fi network and not to the seller data which does consume a ton of battery, so you don't want that to happen. Next, search for Bluetooth. So that we have set Bluetooth, make sure you switch to off right here. This way you turn off Bluetooth, which is something that will drain the battery out of your iPhone because of course it's active all the time trying to find new connections. Next, search for AirDrop. So that we have set airdrop receiving, make sure to tap here and select off. So this way you have turned off airdrop and it's not active in the background. And now search for hotspot. So that we have turned personal hotspot, just switch it to off right there as well. Now search for reduce motion. Then we have also reduce motion turn this one off as well and also search now for sound recognition. 
so that we have set sound recognition. It says activate, just make sure to select pause right there. And now tap that button right there. And now we have created this automation that will basically turn all of these things off once our device basically drops below 15% battery. Again, you can do this as I showed you at the beginning as a shortcut, which you can turn on or off just basically manually, or you can do that with the low power mode. So when you turn on the low power mode, all this will happen also automatically, or do it like this with the battery percentage. So you will drop down the battery, the basically the brightness of your device, turn, down, turn on, do not disturb, which will of course, eliminate the notifications on your device, which are a big battery drainer. We'll set on the dark mode, which is a great thing when it comes to saving battery, because you know, when your device is on dark mode and you have a device with the OLED display, all the pixels that are black on the screen are actually pixels that are turned off. That way they're not consuming any battery. It does turn on the Wi-Fi, which will be better because it connects to Wi-Fi and not to seller data, which is again a great thing to do because the seller data does consume way more battery than Wi-Fi. It will turn off Bluetooth, turn off airdrop receiving, also turn off your personal hotspots, reduce the motion and also pause sound recognition, which is something that will work in the background. And as you probably know, everything that is active working on the background on your iPhone will actually just cause the battery to drain a lot on your iPhone. Now, another thing we can do right here, which I think you should is create another automation or shortcut that will actually reverse all of this. So let's say with this created when the battery drops, under 15%, everything that we set up here will happen. So you can see all the actions here. Now, what I will do is go ahead and create another one, but now I will just reverse these actions. So now I tap the plus button. So we have the battery to draw below 15% for this to happen. Now we go and choose, let's say, right here equals the that rises above 60%. So now when I have my iPhone charged over 60%, everything will be reversed. So tap right there to create a new shortcut. And now we can just go ahead and start adding those actions again. So brightness right here. So in this case, we can set it at 50 or 60. We can go ahead and add the other ones like the focus mode. So right here, do not disturb, turn it off. So basically you get the point here. I'm not just going to add every action. Just go ahead and go to the previous automation you just created and just take a look at all of these actions and you just reverse all of them. And that happens now when your iPhone is charged over 60%. That way you have everything back onto their normal and you don't have to do all of that manually. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button and of course, subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.